went to go over the things that I personally feel, or just for me personally, what I find to be frustrating as a creative person in what I consider to be a mundane society, you know, artistic people problems. So here's the thing, if you are an artistic person, your brain is constantly on the, the verge of creating ideas here, there, and there, and then if you try getting yourself what's considered a normal job, it doesn't quite work. It doesn't function with your brain. It doesn't matter how logical thinking you are, it doesn't matter how great you are at math and science, it doesn't matter how organized and how much of a hard worker you are. If you're not allowed to be creative, your brain starts to rot and it starts to go a little insane. So to give you an idea, it looks like a melted gingerbread house that's covered with candy and that's what the inside of your head looks like because the creativity is still there it's just melting your brain because you can't release your ideas the first one being that if your schedule is too busy it will work against you because you're trying to do something. I can't even begin to even tell you when my schedule like this week that's why there wasn't a, a, a Wednesday video but you know if you showed back up on Wednesday, you watched my old videos and because you love me. Just throwing it out there. Some good stuff there. Um, but when your schedule is hectic, it's super busy, and you're trying to create one thing, time works against you. It's like it has nothing else better to do. Like, oh yeah? You want to complete that book? You won't be completing it. You know, or like, oh, you want to film that idea? That sounds like a really great idea. That sounds fun. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Yeah, you won't have the time to do it this week. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. Um, <laughs> I find that when I'm trying to create and I'm doing the most that I can with whatever the video, whatever I'm writing, if I'm painting, if I'm taking up pottery, whatever it is that I'm doing, I never have enough time. And that's something only artistic people really get. You know why? Because there's never enough time for anything. Why are you in my video? <laughs> Number two, your pets. And if you're artistic, you usually have a cat. Or at least I do. I have a cat and a dog. Both. Yeah. Yeah. When you're a creative person and you have pets, they love being a part of your artwork. Like just two seconds ago. They have to have to make their imprint because I guess they're creative individuals as well. You know, not as creative as me, but you know, whatever. My pets can get some credit. Number three, you have to take up every single hobby that exists that is known to man. See, for example, I, I'm not really much of an artist, like in a sense of like being able to draw, but I do have these moments when I can actually draw something really well, and I'll be like, wow, check that out. I should do painting. Wait, I don't even know how to do painting. I'm gonna become an, an artiste. Suddenly now I have to take painting classes, you know, from YouTube, and, and learn how to paint. I gotta learn how to draw manga characters. I gotta learn how to draw regular American Western comic book characters. Suddenly, I need to learn how to do everything. I even once bought an entire pottery set with the intentions, with supplies, that I was gonna become the ultimate potter and sell all my stuff on Etsy because that's what artists need to do when you're on an actor's budget throwing it out there um, but yeah as an artistic person you need to learn and do everything the only thing I stay away from is anything that has a needle and thread I'm pretty quick to hand that off to someone else I'm like ah, I don't know about that I'm not so good with those thingies I mean like I can patch a hole up but that's as much as you're gonna ever get from me future husband just letting you know um, so I find that one of the biggest issues is that you start new projects all the time because you're creating like, oh, I'm going to learn how to do pottery and I'm going to create a cup. Okay, the cup doesn't look that great, I mean, but it's drinkable. I can drink from this cup. It may look busted, but I can still use it, which means as an artist, I have completed my package. Because you have so many hobbies, you don't complete anything. Yeah, that's number four because it has to go back and back to back to back with, you know, being able to start these new projects left and right because that's all you're doing and then you start all these projects and then you don't finish anything I can't even tell you how many books I have written out like right now I'm like researching like UFOs because I got like an alien book in my head and then like I'll stop and be like what I can create a book about magic move the aliens to the side Ugh. okay there was once a witch like I can't help it everything 
that I'm doing creates a new story and a new story and a new story and a new story and a new story. And then in the midst of all those new stories that I have not completed, because you know I have writer problems, I'll decide, you know what? I want to draw the sun with the sea behind it and maybe another planet. I'm feeling very artistic right now. I feel it. The gods have told me what they want me to share and express myself with with the world. That's exactly what happens and then I don't complete it. And then I'll always walk by it. And every artistic person knows what I'm talking about. Where you walk by the piece of work that you did not complete where you feel like it's an unresolved relationship that ended and you don't know how to like walk by it. Like it's, oh man, just. I'm sorry, you know, it's like you've never solved that issue, like you guys still have issues and you're just trying to work it out, but you don't want to, you just don't want to, that's exactly what that unwanted left piece of art that's left there, that's exactly what that is, unfortunately. Numero cinco! You always have that one person in your life who knows that you're a creative artistic being and that you're always working these grand new schemes. The problem is they remember everything. So there you are minding your own business, you're like I'm gonna finish this book, but then you start another book and you're like that's okay. I can do all these things, that's alright, because I'll return to that book once the character starts talking back to me again, I will work on it. Same thing with the painting, your artwork tells you what it wants to look like, okay? And then you get this little optimistic nosy person who's always like, so, did you finish? Did you complete everything? How's it coming along? How's it coming along? How's it coming along? And your first thought is, if I could just, lovingly answer your question, the answer is no, I did not complete it. And then they look at you almost as if you somehow have betrayed them because you didn't take the time to finish because you, with an artist and all your creative ideas going on and how busy life can get, why would you not complete it? I mean, that makes completely no sense. Why wouldn't you complete it? You know, for you non-artistic people. Just saying. Cut us some slack and give us some time, like 20 years and then you'll be grateful for the artwork because you've waited so long and then you'll see how why it took so long because it's a great masterpiece. Just throwing it out there. So those are my little quirks when it comes to just being an artistic, creative person. Little things that just kind of get to you where I'm always too busy and I haven't never have enough time to create the things that I want to create because every two seconds, or every two nanoseconds rather, I'm creating something new in my head. I mean, every artistic person does this where you just sort of zone out when people are talking to you because they do this a lot. And you're like, yeah, I'm halfway listening. Whoa, that's an inspiration. I could turn that into like the best book there is. And then you can't help it because then you start sort of talking to yourself in your head. You're like, yeah, that would be a great idea. You should write this as a book. Quickly, not so she thinks that you're listening. Do you get any ideas from her? No, I don't have any ideas from her at all. But the starting sentence was good. Yeah, it was good. You should keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. And you start to create because you're not really listening to people because your life is so busy. You're trying to create these new ideas and then you don't complete the ideas. And then the person comes back to you and then asks you, did you complete the idea? And then you feel guilty like it's an unwanted relationship that you didn't resolve all those problems with. And you're just like, no, I didn't complete it, but I'm going to. I swear I'm going to resolve my life's issues and my artwork. Did I say too much? Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember my shows are supposed to be on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I promise I'm gonna go back to doing it on Wednesdays. I promise, this is like a committed relationship. Love you. Um, if you haven't subscribed, what's wrong with you? Subscribe, you know you want to. Come on, get me to a thousand. That's really what I'm going for, because for a thousand, I can get stuff. And then from there, I can really branch out and do more of these ideas that I'm going to complete. I swear I'm going to complete them one day. Um, <laughs> give me some commentary. Tell me things that you uh, that, that bug you for being a creative person, things that people do, or the stupid question that people ask you when you just start something, and they're like, did you finish? Did you finish? And you're like... I am one with the universe, and I'm not gonna snap at you. No, I did not finish, quit asking, you know, but you try not to. But regardless of that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next 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 week on Wednesday, I promise. I promise, I promise. I'm gonna keep my promises, because I'm an actor. Whoop, whoop! Did you complete it? Did you complete your book? Did you finish your painting? Did you finish the dress? Did you finish this? Did you finish this? And all you wanna do is just,